Welcome everyone to Detroit Performs Live from Mary Grove. I'm your host, Satori Shakur, and it is my pleasure to be with Adam Desjardins. He is the Resource Service Manager for Culture Source. Welcome, Adam. Hey, Satori. It's good to see you. It's so great to be with you. I know you. I love you. You are one of the most supportive organizations in Detroit. Your name has grown and grown and grown. It's become an institution here for Detroit artists and arts workers. How are you inspired on a daily basis? Yeah, I'm inspired by our collective. You know, we have over 179 member organizations ranging from, you know, the largest institutions like the DIA, the DSO, to smaller organizations that might be on a neighborhood basis. How can an arts organization, an artist, how do they find you? Yeah, so visit our um, website, culturesource.org, and sign up for our emails. That's our kind of like main thing. We serve creative people in Southeast Michigan, so that means arts workers like you and me, artists, um, people at organizations, institutions. Benefits of being a Culture Source member include, you know, certain access to funding opportunities or workshops, and then also just like the ability to convene around arts and culture. So you curated this episode of Detroit Performance. Yeah, me and my colleagues um, helped curate it um, based around one of uh, the grant programs that we run, which is called Culture Pop, and we basically um, work with arts and culture organizations to help them produce outdoor events in downtown Detroit. One is um, Byra, a Detroit-based dance organization. Um, they're kind of focused on, you know, many different types and forms of movement. And then the other is Tamate Institute for Black Dance and Culture, which is really focused on African diasporic dance. Thank you so much, Adam, for being here. We're excited to head to the stage and see the curated group from Culture Source, Byra.
Well, welcome back everyone from that magnificent performance from Byra. And I'm sitting here with Shana Byra, co-director of Byra. So can you tell us how you started? Yes, yeah, so about eight years ago, Brian Byra, who is the other co-director and as well we're married, we met in New York City and dancing in a different project. And then we began creating work there and spent eight years living and developing our work together, which is the very short story of how we 
ended up here now. What inspired that particular choreography and who did choreograph it? So Brian and I choreographed together. A lot of the movement generation, the phrase work comes out of Brian's natural physicality. And then I'm a movement analyst. And in terms of our inception of where this really came from eight years ago, that is the inception point. And from there, we developed a whole system out of that, which has physical components, which you saw performed, which we also teach. That's a big part of our philosophy and service through our art. Um, and also has a philosophical part, which is, you know, we can kind of break it down into virtues or principles. We have bravery, adaptability, vulnerability, and awareness. And those we practice inside of our physicality, but we also do our best to practice in our relationship with each other, as well as our relationship with the world around us. What do you want audiences to take from it? We want to remind people that they're not alone on this journey and that this journey is hard and this journey is not always pretty and it's also beautiful and there's also we don't have a, another one as far as we can like know in our conscious mind so it's like we gotta just we believe at least that you gotta just get in there and experience all of it it was beautiful to watch thank you so much shana byra